finally got a haircut after the same end. So, what do you guys think of my hair? What's up, everyone? So today I'll be talking about a video that many people have taken umbrage to. If I may just uh, interject, uh, I, I, I honestly, I, I take umbrage at your first question. Okay, so if you haven't watched it yet, right, I'll be talking about it here. So let's go. Okay, so for context, Singapore Press Holding, SPH for short, is one of Singapore's largest media organization. So recently, they held a press conference announcing its plans to restructure its media business to a not-for-profit entity. So during the press conference, one of the reporters asked, Good morning. Yeah, I'm Hui Min from CNA Digital. I have two questions. Uh, just now you mentioned that the revenue from CLG will now uh, be channeled into uh, uh, the new constitution of the company with new uh, goals, right? So what might these be? Does it mean that uh, the media business will now pivot to uh, emphasize editorial integrity, for example, ahead of uh, adv advertiser interests? That's one. Okay, second uh, question is, um, this move comes after uh, various corporate initiatives to improve the sustainability of the media business. Is it fair to say that these initiatives have failed? And if so, where does the responsibility lie? Thank you. Okay, so essentially, she's questioning SPH goals moving forward, and she also briefly mentioned editorial integrity. Okay, to be very honest, I don't really listen or read Singapore's media. But with that being said, I think those are very fair questions considering we live in a free speech society. So, okay, let's see what the CEO of SPH got to say about this. If I may just uh, interject, uh, I, I, I honestly, I, I take umbrage at your first question. There are reporters from here who receive substantial uh, uh, funding from various sources, and I don't believe that you will describe yourself as bowing to the needs of advertisers in doing your job. Wait, what? He's so passive-aggressive in just his first two sentences. As a CEO, you're here to provide answers, not to criticize the questions. But that's not all. So I think that, please, okay, I, I, I would say, uh, at least for SPH problem, you know, we have always, we have always had advertising, and we have never, never conceded and uh, to the needs of uh, of the advertisers. All right, so we have always continued to provide fair, reliable, credible reporting. Always provide fair, reliable, and credible reporting. Always is actually a very powerful word. It actually gives off the idea that you are the best at what you are doing. So let's see. So when you read the comments, right, you will see that many people disagree with that. Some even pointed out that the 2021 World Press Freedom Index showed Singapore dropping to the 160th position. So with so many negative comments from Singaporeans themselves, are you sure that you always provide fair, reliable, and credible reporting? Anyways, let's continue. So in, in reporting the answer to this, I, I will tell you first that the, the question, the fact that they had a question SPH title for, 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 for in your words, huh, conceding to the worst advertiser, I take umbrage in the comment because I don't believe that uh, even where you come from, you, you concede, all right? In doing your job, you do not concede to the needs of advertisers. So I, I, I must call this out. Okay, hold up. Why must he point fingers and use the term in your own words? Come down, Mr. CEO. I get the question might sound a bit accusing towards the title of SPH, but I don't think pointing your finger at a lady is a polite thing to do. And it also paints a bad picture of SPH. There are always better ways to bring your point across. And if you think the question is insinuating something negative about SPH, you can always take the opportunity to clarify SPH's position instead of getting defensive and slamming the reporter. The Ch chairman is a gentleman. I'm not. SPH, the purpose of doing this is to make sure that SPH media will continue to do the job we have done so well for so long. Permission to carry on, sir. This is just like, hey, I just got a haircut, how is it? Hmm, actually it's a very different style. What are you trying to go for? Or oh, actually because the previous style was a bit difficult to style, so I decided to try this for now. What do you think of it though? Actually, yeah, I think this hairstyle is neater. What the heck, you just say I'm a messy person? How dare you say something like that? I'm just trying to continue to look the best I've looked for so long. So can you tell me the difference? You hold a press conference for reporters to ask questions, and yet you criticize the reporter, and at some point even felt personal. Okay, I know many people say that he used to be the chief of defense force, that's why he talked like that. But being the chief of defense force and being a CEO is very different things. 
Being a CEO, you need to know how to lead and how to present yourself. You don't just admit you're not a gentleman and act like a thug. You still need standards. After this childish tantrum, how will his employees respect him? Also, being a leader in the media industry, it is extremely worrying when you cannot withstand a valid question. A valid question posed to a company tasked with bringing news to the nation. And also, not forgetting my favorite comment, the irony of this whole incident. Okay, let me show you how I would have done this if I were him. Uh, if I may just interject. Okay. Uh, thank you for your questions. So, uh, to your first question, right, uh, our goal will remain the same as always, and that's to provide fair, reliable, credible reporting. Okay, so uh, regarding your comment about the editorial integrity over advertisers' interest, uh, for, at least for SPH, uh, we always had advertising, but let me emphasize that we have never conceded to the needs of advertisers. Okay, so that's all for this video. Do let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope this video won't get me in trouble because like, I feel like an issue like this is important because like such an incident can have an impact on Singapore's press image. So remember to like and subscribe to me because if you don't, I'm going to take Emrich. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.